the SDGs are encompassing. Uh, they include every aspect of development uh, as compared to MDGs and they give bigger role to the advanced economies uh, compared to the MDGs which only give uh, more role to the developing countries. So uh, look at the global climate change, inequalities, conflict and violence and uh, lack of global governance including in the financial system. Perhaps uh, SDGs are more comprehensive to also set uh, global governance issues and also to for a higher level of uh, cooperation. On that expectation, uh, I, I thought uh, we should be advocating SDGs. It appears that uh, we are on board on SDG implementation. Most countries are already either in the stage of implementing it or just uh, started doing it. And they have set up institutional mechanism and they have uh, mainstreamed SDGs into their planning process and they have reviewed the gaps between their existing plans and what uh, SDGs require and they are trying to fill in the gaps. We need to work on the SDG consistent macroeconomic policies, fiscal, monetary, trade, investment included. These policies, unless we make uh, very um, consistent with SDGs, and market forces uh, will uh, just leave many behind. What this is what we saw in the past. So, are states ready to review their existing macroeconomic policies? Are global uh, rule makers, policy makers, ready to re review and refine their macroeconomic policies to make them inclusive? And are we all ready uh, to to have a proper balance between the role of the state and the market, and the role of the third actors of development, which is the community cooperative? Uh, and non-governmental organizations, are we ready to bring them equally on board to take, uh, to take along the whole SDG agenda? Well, first uh, UNDP and UN system as a whole, they should work as one UN as the slogan goes. And they cannot create several windows of uh, um, cooperation, first within UN system itself. And second, uh, they must uh, build a national ownership of the SDGs through their support, support, of course, but not taking everything by themselves. And third, uh, involving other international financing institutions like the World Bank, IMF, ADB, or regional development banks into the agenda. They are in the agenda, but uh, mainstreaming them in a much, much more effective way.